<laughs> Hi, this is Devin Lockett at the Biomed RX Health Center once again. I'm here to talk to you about a great chelator and all around good product to have around the house called Bentonite Clay. Bentonite clay is part of the smectite group of clays. It occurs naturally in and near volcanoes. Bentonite clay has a negative magnetic charge, so you should use it very carefully and only use it with a uh, wooden spoon or a plastic spoon. You shouldn't keep bentonite clay in a metal container or handle it with any metal objects at all. Bentonite clay is good to use as a face mask. A lot of times when you go to a beauty salon, you'll find that bentonite clay is used inside of the beauty mask because it draws out the, uh, the toxins, all of the toxins in your skin. Not only the heavy metal toxins and the positively charged toxins, but also bacteria and other toxins. Leaves your skin looking really fresh and feeling great. Just mix a little bit of bentonite clay with water into a paste and uh, put it on your face. Bentonite clay can also be mixed with baking soda, sea salt, and essence of peppermint to make a great homemade toothpaste. Now before I get into the medical applications of bentonite clay, I have to stress once again, I am not a medical doctor and nothing that you see on Biomed RX TV should be construed as medical advice in any way. If you want to take bentonite clay internally, you can get food grade bentonite clay, make sure it's food grade, and mix a couple of teaspoons in a glass of water. Make sure you mix it very well so that it doesn't clump up in the water and drink it down as quickly as you can. How does it taste? It tastes like chalk. It doesn't have a pleasant or unpleasant flavor, it basically doesn't taste like anything. But once it gets inside your body, it works on attracting with the negative charge. It attracts the positively charged toxins in your body and binds to them and neutralizes them and allows your body to pass them through the regular digestive uh, elimination process. This is very good for starving cancer cells and shrinking tumors because it takes away the positively charged toxins and heavy metals that cancerous tumors feed on. If you would like to take a bentonite clay bath, what I recommend is that you fill the tub with water, fill the tub with hot water, and take another jar, a separate jar, and fill it with uh, uh, halfway full with hot water as well. Now, I recommend using a plastic jar because bentonite clay expands six times when it's exposed to water, so you don't want to use a, a glass jar, okay? It's going to be under a lot of pressure and it may actually break the jar. So you fill the water up, you fill the jar up halfway with water, and you dump a couple of cups of bentonite clay powder into the water, close it up, Shake it up as well as you can. Take your time and shake it well. Shake it a hundred times or more because you want to pulverize it and get the clay really mixed well into the water. You want to get a good emotion in there. You want the water and bentonite clay mix to be about the consistency of milk. Then you pour that into the bathtub, rinse out the jar, make sure that it's all in the bathtub, and you want the water in the tub to be cloudy. You don't want it to be lumped up. You don't want uh, clumps of bentonite clay in the water. Then get in. And when you see the bentonite clay start to settle in the tub, kick your legs back and forth, swish the water around a little bit, and make sure that the water stays cloudy. Lie down in the tub. What's gonna happen is, the longer you lie in the bentonite clay, the more toxins is going to release from your body. The more toxins that are released from your body, the better you're going to feel. Your energy level is going to rise. Your mood is going to improve. And you're just going to feel better. The more often you do it, the happier you are going to be. For some reason, all of us are suffering from uh, a, a very toxic environment. There are heavy metals in our environment. There are heavy metals being sprayed upon us in, in, from airplanes. And uh, I, I really don't know where all of these metals come from. But I do know that the more frequently you bathe with bentonite clay, the more frequently you purge yourself of these heavy metal toxins, the better and lighter you're going to feel. Your emotions are gonna just explode. You're gonna become happy and joyful like when you were a child. You're gonna find yourself doing things Things like singing to yourself and cracking jokes and just having the same lighthearted spirit that you had when you were a child. The more and more you, you draw the toxins out of your body with bentonite clay.
You can also use bentonite clay in a foot bath. Some people take bentonite clay foot baths. I have about a dozen foot bath machines around here. When I first discovered bentonite clay, I would give free foot baths to all of my clients just to show the efficacy of bentonite clay. At the end of a foot bath, you'd find a lot of the heavy metals that were in your body uh, in the tub. You're going to find them in the bathtub as well. Okay, bentonite clay has its own color and its own consistency and its own molecular structure and it tends to bind with itself. So when you get out of the bath from a bentonite clay bath, look at the bottom of the tub and you're going to see what looks like gunpowder. It's going to be a black or gray substance and it's not going to be the bentonite clay. Those are going to be all the heavy metals that were drawn out of your body during the uh, bentonite clay bath. In fact, if you take some of those metals and look at them under the sun, you're going to see that part of uh, part of uh, particles within the 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 metals and within that dust gl glisten like in gunpowder, right? Glisten in the sun. So you're going to definitely notice that you pull a lot of heavy metals out of your body every time you take a bentonite clay bath. Bentonite clay is something great to have in your house, something great to have in your pantry, it's something great to have next to the bathtub. If you have an abscess or a big pimple or a bee sting or a bug bite or even a scar, bentonite clay is very good to help heal it. Um, you can put a paste of bentonite clay onto the abscess or the pimple or the scar and cover that up with some cellophane and allow it to dry slowly. As it dries, the bentonite clay is going to be slowly sucking out, drawing out the toxins from within. It's a very, very good natural substance. In fact, some animals know that when they are injured, to find bentonite clay and lie down in it until they're healed. That's an instinctive thing. So these are the things that God has given us here on the earth to keep us healthy. Health should not be expensive. It's not meant to be expensive. And here at Biomed RX TV, I'm dedicated to making sure you know all of the cheap and inexpensive ways that you can maintain your health in a manner that keeps you from having to use medications or doctors in the first place. Remember, once again, I am not a doctor and nothing that you see or hear on Biomed RX television is to be construed as medical advice in any form. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and comment and share the video and subscribe to Biomed RX TV. If you would like to see the full version of all of our training videos in biomagnetic paratherapy, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, audiovisual brain entrainment, neurofeedback, consciousness hacking, neurohacking, and all of the therapies that we perform here at the Biometrics Health Center, then you have to become a patron on our Patreon channel at patreon.com forward slash BiomedRxTV. That's all I have to say for this video. I would like everyone to stay kind because kind is the new sexy. Stay blessed and stay healthy. Thank you for watching BiomedRxTV.